afternoon. <laughs> you can tell I've been, I've been up for a while, three days. Good morning. Come on in. I'm just sort of letting the, uh, the folks who are doing NCA TV, is that right? Yep. NCA TV, get their cameras rolling. Um, so this is being recorded. If you do not wish to have your image or your likeness recorded, please talk to the guy with the camera because I have nothing to do with it um, later. But Scott Dillard did email me um, quite a while ago and say, how should I prepare for this event? And I told him to just sit up close and look pretty. And he has properly (laughs) done his job. We are here for the Five Years Out panel. This, um, this is an opportunity that has been provided by um, Don Braithwaite um, in the hopes that organizations, the, the divisions within NCA, would have space, would have time to talk about what it is that we would like to do for the 100th anniversary in 2014. So instead of trying to cram, can you imagine after our business meeting at the end saying, and by the way, let's make a plan for the 100th anniversary of NCA. We have been given this time as a gift um, to do so. We had to um, submit to NCA to ask for the time. Not all divisions um, were allotted um, time, but our division, I believe, is an important part of our of. NCA. Um, I think that our work is integral to um, the future of NCA. And so I wrote a rather lengthy proposal describing all of our wonderful attributes and the necessity of having this time because I think the 100th anniversary that we need to be an important and prominent part of that. Um, However, I do not feel that I need to be the one that it needs to be all my ideas um, that need to happen for however we present ourselves at that anniversary conference. And so I asked people um, to be on a roundtable to talk about this here. So there are names in the program. This was the attempt to make sure those of you were in the room <laughs> here. And, but I don't, didn't mean to exclude anyone else who's not on the program. So I'm thrilled to see so many people here um, to talk about this. Um, what we would like to do would be to try and get ideas from everyone on what might be the ways in which you would like to see um, the Performance Studies Division um, presented at that 100-year conference. Um, Because we wanted it to be inclusive of everybody who might come, the idea that we're going to do today is that we are going to form small groups for the first um, few minutes. I'm going to give each group, let's say, 15 minutes. Um, I'll give you longer if you need it. But I would like to form everybody into smaller working groups rather than have the whole room have, you know, Um, have to wrestle with the ideas all at once. Form um, folks into smaller groups, give you some time, meet the people in your group, and share your ideas for what you would like to see. And you can just, you don't have to plan it just because you come up with the idea now. Um, But the idea would be if somebody in your group could take a few notes and then we'll, you know, it's like class, and then we'll come back together and we'll have each group Um, present those ideas. And then we'll be able to have those ideas recorded. We, I don't know, we're evidently being recorded by NCA TV, but also Matt Salzberg um, has agreed to take the notes on all of the ideas um, and so that everyone feels like they've been able to include. And then I would, we'll be doing a call for Um, people to either volunteer themselves or be nominated for um, a committee that we will leave this room having a committee formed for the Five Years Out panel. Um, These are the people that are committed to seeing this through over five years, plus a host of ideas for that committee to then be able to make decisions. So, a lot to accomplish, but hey, I'm game. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> if we could, the only request we have from the NCA TV folks is that when you do stand up to present the ideas, um, that, you, that the person come up and be on the microphone so that they can get it recorded. 
So that is a request. So what I think would be fun, because this is the way I like to do things, if you, of course, will all ignore me if you want, um, but I think it would be great to um, join a group with maybe not the person you're sitting next to, just because we tend to be next to people that we might share similar ideas with. Maybe not. It's your own business. Um, but if we could, if we could, even, you know, if you're more comfortable just turning and shifting and being in a group, that's fine. I think that it looks like we could have some nice working groups of eight people, um, if that looks appropriate to you. Doesn't matter if you have seven or you have ten, but I, I rely on my, you know, you're all, um, academics, you know how to get into small groups. Um, but we're looking at, if we have too many small groups, if you just join your neighbor, then that's, that might be a bit too many. So kind of look around, try to form a group, meet someone new. And, um, and um, we're going to take 15 minutes for you to share ideas. Uh, you can even say, I think I'd really just like to see the history of the division. All right, You don't need to feel like you need the concrete idea of what is yet to be. Can we do that? All right, 15 minutes. I'll keep checking in with you. Find 8 to 10 people. going to begin uh, our discussion, and our first volunteer is Heidi Rose, whom you all know from Villanova University, who's the editor of Text and Performance Quarterly, and um, do you want me to hold the microphone for you, (laughs) or would you like to hold it? Maybe I'll ask you to turn my page. Oh, excellent. (laughs) (laughs) And so, uh, and we have our note taker, so go for it. (laughs) Okay. So, uh, we have, I think, five ideas. The first one I'm I'm going to say uh, right off the bat is freely borrowed from Amy Darnell's idea about the family tree sort of lineage thing. And so the first one has to do with our recognition that there are many of us who studied with some of the really great performance studies people uh, who have retired or since passed away and that we want to honor them and we want to really look at at what they've contributed to to what we know about performance studies and, and how they've contributed to the field of communication in general. So one idea, first idea, is, uh, is performance in, in the style of these mentors, of our mentors, um, and not in the sense of, um, uh, of and certainly not a parody, and not even in an homage, but, but something to really show how they have contributed to the development of this field and in relation to communication uh, in general. And so that's one. Number two is to look at our progression from... Um, you know, from all the way back from the sort of elocution world up through performance of literature to the ethnography and performance ethnography and autoethnography and critical ethnography and, uh, and, and even and performance um, now beyond the academy in the community advocacy sorts of issues, but to show how they're fused in uh, as much as possible. Uh, Craig used the, the sort of image of like a Venn diagram and um, to sort of, again, looking at what it's done for us, but also how it contributes to the field of communication in general. And that we would look at sort of the before-after kinds of shifts. So uh, when, you know, when our influence was out of sort of elocution, what did that mean for communication? And then when it's in performance of literature, what does that mean for communication, et cetera? And then uh, I think I got that one. Okay, now I have to turn the page. <laughs> so, okay. There we go. All right. Thank you. Number three, number three was to look at uh, uh, something that really looks specifically at the mutual influence of other areas to, communic- to performance studies and then how performance studies ha- has in turn influenced other areas of, of our field and even beyond, you know, that whole sort of performative turn and what that means, uh, what that has meant in the last part of the 20th century and as we move into, well, into 21st. Number four is is a, uh, a kind of archival sort of thing to highlight productions. Let's find, you know, finding snippets of productions of uh, adap- like works of adaptation, works of solo performance, uh, scripts, and talking to the performers themselves if they are, you know, around to look at sort of how their work has shifted, changed through the years, so that we really dig into those archives that um, that you know we have but don't really dig into too often to look at that progression. Um, and then, and again, really, really stressing that 
this shouldn't, it should certainly be for us, but that, that it's also showing what we've done for NCA and for communication uh, as a whole. And then fifth is to, to stage some debates, some classic debates that go all the way back to the early 20th century days of, you know, of, of what is acting and what is interpretation and that notion of suggestion, you know, all that stuff. And then, and then to look at dangerous shores, exactly. <laughs> and, then, and then to look at, uh, at some of the debates that came out of the journal, so from literature and performance days through TPQ and some of those, um, you know, the, the Peleus and Van Osting um, when introducing the, the name change and then sex text and, you know, any of the others that we can come up with that would be an interesting thing to actually stage from the text themselves. So those are our five suggestions. Okay. Thank you, Heidi. Um, Mindy Fenske um, has asked to um, go next and she's ready to go, University of South Carolina, and she'll be planning next year's conference. <laughs> Yay. Vice Chair. Or Vice Chair. Vice Chair. Do you want me to pages? I think I'm good. Okay. I have a feeling there's going to be a lot, of, a lot of repetition here, which is good, right? Um, means we're on the same page. Uh-huh. <laughs> and we also have five. Ooh. All right, so number one. Uh, um, and the first idea uh, was 100 years of memorable NCA performances, right? And so picking them based on decade or however you want to organize that. Some of the examples that were offered were, um, for example, um, Beverly Whitaker's Long's uh, performance of ekphraxic poetry. Um, I thought about Goblin Market at, that Patty Pace brought to um, New Orleans. Uh, I don't know, how many years ago was that? Does anybody remember? No. Number two. Legendary performances, the construction of the legend, which would mean um, thinking back, and this is outside of NCA, like legendary performances, performances by people who are associated with NCA performance studies that have had a long memory and a legend surrounding them, and then also the oral history that constructed the legend surrounding that performance. Um, We talked about Wallace Bacon's performance of patriotism, Frank Galati's performance of Pale Fire, um, Lilla Heston and Frank Galati with Gertrude Stein. Um, and just to think about how those, those memories were constructed and sort of, uh, hi there. Just saw Donna, sorry. Um, number three, uh, the genealogy of performance studies, lore and folklore. And when we're thinking about this, um, both in terms of institutional genealogies, who studies with who and who is connected with who, as well as conceptual genealogies, which is related to what you guys were talking about as, you know, elocution and how did that develop and how did that shift happen. So institutional genealogies as um, personal connections genealogies, conceptual genealogies, to try to trace, um, I'm thinking the same kind of diagram that you had, the connections between both ideas as well as people as well as institutions. Number four... Uh, key leaders, what mark have we made? I like titles for some reason. It's just, what mark have we made? Um, this was the idea to think about the people who are within the division over, or in the organization connected to performance studies over the last hundred years who have been key leaders, both in terms of the field conceptually as well as hopefully outside of the field, right? How are we, how are we visible both within communication studies, within performance studies, but also how are we visible in the larger intellectual and academic community, the people who have really, who have really reached out or have been marked as important figures and bringing those, making those folks visible again. And five, futures. We've talked a lot about the past, right? There's also the notion of where are we going or what kind of mark toward the future can we make. We talked about um, how very practical matters about how will we fit into communication studies in the next 100 years um, and very, on very practical terms, like how, do, you know, how, how can we make our, ourselves, our scholarship visible and recognized for the importance that it does already have so that we can expand our influence in, within the field. Also, we talked about new forms of textuality and how we're going to embrace and adapt to new forms of textuality. We talked about archiving as well and about um, managing and, and, and mining the archive. Um, and also, we talked about how, how, how do we do interdisciplinary, interdisciplinarity better to increase the performance studies visibility and reputation and activity in the larger world of communication studies, but more importantly, the larger intellectual and academic world. Um, I think that we do great stuff, and uh, I don't think that people read it enough. 
outside of the world that we are in. Um, so I want to, you know, talk about the visibility. Um, and finally, uh, who are who are we? You know, and and you know, sort of that identity formation question: Who are we? And what do we want to be? And who are we doing it for? Um, so, looking toward the future in those ways. Thanks. I also wanted to ask the folks, if you did take notes and you don't mind, Matt really does type 90 miles an hour, you can see him, but it might be helpful if we could have those notes if, if you were, that was acceptable. Johnny, would you like to go next? Sure. Excellent. Johnny Gray from Southern Illinois University, awesome person. Thank you. <laughs> I have to say I really enjoy the group I got to work with. I see uh, a lot of energy in the kind of master's thesis and dissertations and research that's going on currently here, so I come here really, really excited by a lot of that. We have four. Uh, although the first one is kind of a big one, and we could possibly break that up into two, so we could be in the kind of reigning paradigm of, of five ideas here. Uh, and so I'll try to move through them. And I do think the first one is really big, and as I was thinking about this after kind of talking it back to the group, uh, might be uh, the other three sort of come out of it in some interesting ways. So the first is simply a recognition of performance uh, creating, a, a, being a tool for creating and creating culture and also interventions into the power dynamics of culture. Uh, and so here we were, we were noting uh, several folks' work uh, with things like um, uh, performance in uh, dealing with uh, health crisis and HIV or some of my own interest in kind of thinking about what's the relationship of performance to environmental concerns, not just in terms of how can something like a green theater movement make uh, performance practices more sustainable, but also recognizing the role that performance plays in shaping our cultural expectations for our relationships with environments. And so that broad overarching theme of performance as this kind of cultural tool, but also this tool for resistance, intervention, and problematic practices uh, emerges as a, a pretty big one for us in terms of thinking about performance studies and how can we recognize that. Our second one uh, deals with uh, really uh, a strong interest as we want to look to the future and seeing those emerging future trends as always connected to our past. That is to say, as much as we are interested in our merging interests, how do they also connect to our traditions? And one of the suggestions here is more panels, more things that show dialogue and connection between emerging, say, graduate student uh, scholars and folks who have been in the field a while and have produced quite a, a bit of material. And to see that kind of dialogue with each other, maybe pushing at each other, maybe debating a little, all the kinds of things that go with that. So that was kind of the, the second one. Uh, our third is a kind of a meta turn that we think that performance is particularly good at doing for the larger discipline itself. And so the sort of theme, if I go to a Minifinsky model of providing a title here, is what does it mean to perform in CA? Uh, and that one of the things that we value about performance studies is that it really seems to locate the scholarship in the body. Now, that's not to participate too much in the mind-body split here, but when we come to places where folks are primarily reading and not very well, their papers <laughs> allowed and looking for the line on their vita, there seems to be a pretty cerebral focus uh, and that one of the things that performance studies has always done and done quite well is suggest that part of our oral tradition, part of our practices, part of what we have been as a communi communication studies discipline for a century or more now uh, is interested in relationships, in bodies in relationship, and looking at the, the body. And so uh, in as much as we might turn our uh, satirical performance skills on uh, mirroring back to NCA some of the ways that the bodies in motion at this conference operate, uh, that offers uh, interesting possibilities as tools of intervention and potentially subversion and reminding folks about what, what it is that we do and why we care about communication. Uh, fourth and, and not least, but, but last, uh, is uh, acknowledging what new media is making possible for performance and in some pretty important ways. A real call among these folks for a need for, these folks, me too, for a need for more electronic journals and a real excitement about the idea of electronic journals because in addition to being able to put kind of performance theorizing and work into print, they allow for other modes of representation of that work that are kind to performance and recognize that embodiment that is performance performance, but also the recognition that these new technologies allow for uh, collaboration across space and time, across, uh, across programs, so that right now we have a tendency to have um, 
performance hours or performance panels that may bring people from different universities doing different performances, but does the kind of interactivity of a Web 2.0 community allow for the possibility of some of the distant collaboration that we've been hearing folks talk about here, but actually doing distant collaboration between programs to present that kind of performance work here that shows another kind of level of cross-pollination of programs that NCA could then become a kind of embodied place to present, even though that might be worked out in some uh, electronic means. So those were our big four, and, and thanks to this group for helping come up with them. No pain, no gain, right, Johnny? All right, who's next? Welcome. Come. Who would like to come? Dust, Dustin Goltz. DePaul University. If you saw his performance on Thursday, you know him a lot better than you did before Thursday. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Heather. Do you want me to hold it? I would, uh, actually, would you? Yes. Okay. Um, okay, so this uh, works, some of the stuff we came up with works in the direction um, that Johnny was moving, and I think answers some of the questions that um, Mindy posed, um, as well as some of Heidi's discussion. So, but it's a bit of a break from the reigning paradigm, I would say. Um, we're really thinking about, okay, what can we do when we mark 100 years? And really thinking about, okay, you know, we can, we can honor the past and we can celebrate the past, or we can really take, you know, performance and this idea of history as something that we do and potentially undo and redo and really start addressing some of the violences of the past and some of the violences of the present in a very immediate and focused way of going, we're going to take this history and we're going to do something really productive and radical with it. Um, it began with the discussion of looking beyond discussions of black and whiteness and that dichotomy in terms of race, a lot of the invisibility and a lot of the erasure that is still being felt very present in performance studies today um, in this particular moment, which is obviously very much a part of our history as well. Um, so what we're thinking of doing is, um, as an idea, looking where NCA is at right now, where there's, you know, we just came from this town hall, at least I did, where we're really negotiating is his NCA political organization, and it, it historically has, and it has been, and there's always this question of where are its politics. And I think it's really an, an interesting opportunity for the Performance Studies Division to say, yes, we are, and we have been, and it's important, and to make a commitment to that and make a very visible commitment to that. Um, so uh, we're proposing, in, in, in Mindy's tradition, here's uh, sort of a, an overriding theme, um, violences of the past, violences of the present, and risks for the future. And really, just... For, uh, that's, that's a masculine metaphor. I'm uh, not putting balls out there, but um, help me. <laughs> Thank you, Heather. Yeah, oh. don't. Brass. <laughs> we got, um, all right. So thinking about ethics and thinking about individual responsibility and even take, taking this question that many put out there of who are we? And taking that and going, okay, how do we respond? Right? We're at this moment right now in terms of where are we at NCA? Where are we as an organization? Last year, where were we as Perform Studies Division? There's a lot of things that are happening in these discussions as a larger organization as well as where we stand with performance studies. So here are some of the ideas that we had with that particular theme in mind. Um, radical idea of putting a moratorium on papers for that entire year and doing all performances. All panels, all performances, with all the time. And all about building bridges. All of these panels are absolutely about building bridges to other disciplines, bringing in uh, scholars from other disciplines to be respondents with maybe one performance studies person and two people from that area, and actively showing the relationship and the theoretical work and the methodological work and what we do and how we inform and how we can bring these discussions together in a really proactive way, rather than just, you know, next year we're building bridges, but really set up a whole program about how do we get performance out there and get this visible and get people thinking, wow, all these ideas really do intersect. Um, other discussions that we were looking at. Am I going too long? I feel like I'm just rambling. Um, <laughs> what else is on here? Um, also bringing in talkbacks, uh, themes of mentorship, which came up in other presentations. Stop it. Um, <laughs> that came up in other discussions. Really interested in that as well. I am forgetting something and I don't want to, so give me one more minute and I promise I will. <laughs> uh, talk back framing the forefront theoretical components performances method do you want to help me what am I forgetting folks I don't know what you're forgetting but I really want to underscore the first point because this is a contentious issue mm -hmm. you want to stop there's a few other people telling them in performance is that this is very important and this is something that the
So I'm actually, I don't think I could say it much better than that. But really, what's really rethinking history in a very different way, and rather than necessarily celebrating our history, interrogating the hell out of it, and really taking this as a historical moment. So. All right. <laughs> Matt, how you doing? I I don't know. I looked at Dusty's notes. I don't think I could read them, but I'm good. we'll see. <laughs> if you want to give Matt your notes, you can because he went fast. Um, next group. We, ha- we have one left. Amy Darnell, Columbia College. Would you like for me to hold the microphone for you? or hold do, your notes? What do you want? To I, I am here to serve the division. Okay. Okay. Um, we, we had, again, very similar discussions. Um, you know, it kind of started off with Nathan talking about uh, with QJS in the early days in terms of the 19 teens and, and earlier, um, how prevalent theater scripts and performance was. It wasn't a separate thing. It was just a part of who we were. And so we're kind of circling back to that. You see performance popping up in all of these different panels, and so is it an issue of reclamation? Is it an issue of interconnectivity? Or is it a, an issue, I think Roberta put it really well, you know, we have performance classes that are these general education serving the curriculum, cross-curricular issues that are uh, between multiple departments. We are serving people, but are we getting maybe credit that we know, unfortunately, in terms of the power structures of institutions that we deserve, need, I don't know. Um, but I thought she put it really well. There's a difference between everybody can teach public speaking where everybody can teach performance versus everybody doing it well and highlighting the expertise and craft and skill that we bring to what we do. And so we had two um, kind of major thoughts. Uh, One was kind of, uh, if you will, maybe a glorified poster session about what are we doing in community action? Where where are our performances living outside of the classroom? Um, What are we really doing? Um, And then uh, highlighting those performance skills. And so um, in terms of kind of these historical performances, Gosh, Reader's Theater really does serve a purpose. Uh, what does this other performance style do uniquely that another performance style uh, doesn't? And so highlighting the styles of performance and how they work. That's all we have. Excellent. Thank you very much. Did we, get, did we get all the groups? Excellent. Matt, how are you doing? Excellent. Very, very good. Now, would we like to have, um, we only have um, uh, 20 minutes left. I would, in that time, I definitely want to um, collect volunteers to be on the committee um, for the five years out committee. Um, and I would like to be able to have a few minutes to meet with those folks um, to, you know, organizationally, because I don't want us just to have all these great ideas and then disperse and there they go so I do want to take a little bit of that time to meet with the people who want to be on this um, but I think we have if it that, would people like to have some responses right now um, to the to the other ideas or did some ideas come up or Heidi yes, really quick. Here. I, promise, really quick. Sure. Um, I, I just feel badly about the the perception perhaps that came out in what I said about a, a pure celebration of the past as opposed to an interrogation or a recognition that the past, uh, any kind of discussion of history or recognition of history is going to be awfully complex, right. awfully complex. So, so if, that was mis- if I misspoke at all or, or presented that, in, you know, that impression, please know that that was not the intent at all. But we can't ignore the past. And, and I think that many of us, you know, yeah, so anyway, that, enough said. Okay, it's complex. <laughs> oh, here. Tim, I can't come to you anymore. It stops here. I'll come to you anytime. Thank you. Uh, my point is a, a, a profoundly uh, practical one. I think we, we, we ignore at our peril the division's position with respect to our colleagues in other areas. Uh, My cursory review of the program uh, says that of over the 100 years of NCA, or the 95 years of NCA, six of its presidents have been from performance or oral interpretation or whatever you 
term you want to call it. The last in 1982. So for 27 years, the association has not seen clear to elect one of us to its position of authority. I'm not saying that's a marker of anything other than it's a marker that none was elected. I don't say that as an indictment. I don't say that. I say it simply descriptively. I think we've got to spend some real serious time talking about where we live with respect to everyone else. Because, and here's where the rubber hits the road, friends, when lines are distributed in departments where there are questions, you know where they will go and you know where the association will support them. I don't want to say anything else. Can you speak in the mic? Is that okay? Well, they're taping it. What? Is that all right? I really just didn't want a performance moment. Oh. Um, kind of wanted to be more subtle. But I'm Jeffrey McCune from the University of Maryland. And... Um, I actually wanted to talk a little bit more about this idea of moratorium um, because I, I really think that it might be something worth um, investigating. Um, and my idea for this was because since I've been at NCA for now going on what seems like 11, 12 years, um, I've always been an active member of the African American Cultural Studies Division and the um, um, some other division that I'm, uh, uh, God, I can't remember the. Um, I said the ethnography division was at one point. Yeah, I was a member of that. But but in the last five years, I've been a member of the performance studies division, and I've noticed that there's all these divisions, right, between the divisions. And so one of the things that I was kind of proposing was have a moratorium where we would do performance, right, that would look kind of like Ramon's um, and, and Patrick's, Patrick's book where they have these kind of performances and then they have, you know, um, respondents that are from uh, different um, areas, divisions, right? So, like, if someone is perfor- doing performance ethnography, we would have someone from the ethnography division actually sitting as a respondent, right? And, and to do something like that. To, to not only generate a kind of climate where folks would be able to be more descriptive when they're talking about lines, right? When they're saying, we want a performance person, Right? And what does that mean? Right? A lot of times it just means we want someone who can sing and dance, right? Um, and then other times it means someone who's strictly theoretical and doesn't actually engage performance, right? So finding all these multiple ways to do that. And so I really wanted to say more about that and the importance, what I think might be the importance, an, an important statement by the division to say, you know what? This year we're going to put a moratorium on papers and we're going to perform. And we're going to actually put it in a conversation with other folks in other divisions to really stress the importance of getting to know one another and kind of undoing the division. So. Okay. Um, did, what are you trying to tell me? Oh, you, Jeffrey. What, what's his last? Jeffrey, what's your last? McCune. Jeffrey McCune. U-N-E. Thank you. Awesome. All right. Anyone else have ideas? Time to get the committee together, I do believe. I, um, I do think that with all of our, unfortunately, we have two other performance studies panels at this time. So we do have colleagues who um, got put on the panel exactly um, at this time that might want to get involved. And I don't want um, it to be that you either had to be, you know, if you didn't choose this panel, you can't be a part of the five years out planning. So please tell your colleagues who are at um, our other two panels that are featured now to let me know um, if they are interested in this work. Because I think it's, um, I think everyone, even though we had all these different ideas, agrees on the thing that I wanted to make sure we did, which is that we want to have a presence at the 100th anniversary. Am I correct? Yeah. Okay. All right, so we got that down, and that's really exciting. And how that happens doesn't have to be one idea. And I also think it provides us that there's so much energy that there could be a group that starts doing some of these ideas now, 
that, I mean, I'm sure Mindy's excited already about some of these ideas just for next year. You know, why wait um, as well? And so that's, that's potentially very exciting if we start having these ideas occur. Um, but right now I would like to take um, the folks who, could you just do a show of hands if you're interested on being on the five years out um, committee? All right. Then why, this is excellent. So then why don't, may I, are you offended if I just release you if you don't want to be on the committee? Oh, we'll have a lovely conference and I will see you at the next panel. Thank you so much. And thank you for participating. This is exciting. Thank you all so much for having this interest. Um, hopefully the people that took name they took names at their groups that they were supposed to bring them forward. I, I even spoke to the microphone, but nobody gave me anything. Oh, bring, if you, you know, the people who are always involved are the ones that take notes anyway. So bring, bring the names of the folks that were in your committees, um, if you have them, and any notes, give to Matt. Um, and then I would like to go ahead and um, have everybody, um, just the first thing we do, um, say who you are so that Matt can get down the list of the people that have volunteered to be on the committee. Is that okay? And I don't think we need to use the microphone for that. I think we can just go around. Um, and if you can't hear Matt, they'll just speak louder. Okay. Okay? I have good hearing. I can't smell it. All right. We'll start with you, Julianne. I'm, Ju <laughs> I'm Julianne Scott. One more, Julianne. Yes. J L A capital A. Currently at the University of Maine. Currently at the University of Maine. Okay. So if you could say your name and affiliation, and we know things change, but for now, so we can find you. Uh, Timothy Gurr at Brooklyn College. John Anderson at Emerson College. Dusty Golds at Paul University. Am I going too fast? Jerry Balfans, Lake Superior State University. How do you spell your last name? P A L F A N T Z. Did I get right on the flag? Yes. Bernadette Calico, C A. We were just Bernadette. There was movement. Calico, C A L A F E L L. Gibbs. Naida Zukic, N A I D A Z U K I C, B M C C, Q D Manhattan, Borough of Manhattan Community College, Q D, C U N Y. I'm from New York. He's from New York. I'm from New York. There's a difference. It's me. I'm confused. Matt is like up. I'm with you. Um, Shauna McDonald, S H A U N A, Matt with an A, for McDonald. <laughs> and I'm at SMU Carbondale. Raquel Monroe, R A Q U E L Monroe, Columbia College, Chicago. Roberta Christen, C R I S S O N, Goodstown University, Emerita. Pennsylvania, right? Phyllis Carlin, University of Northern Iowa. C A R L I N? Right. University of Northern Iowa? Right. Yeah. Heidi Rose, Villanova. Oh, my friends went to Villanova. Oh, John. Okay. <laughs> Jonathan Gray, Southern Illinois. Carpenter. You're famous to me. Did you want to be on the committee? <laughs> Wait, we just talked to Heidi after it's up. Five minutes. I'll take time. <laughs> take time. All right. And I got the best deal. And put yourself on the yes, committee I since am. you're our scribe, I think. <laughs> we want to make sure that you, you remain. Um, and so our, you know, we have, of course, the charge to, to figure out what to do five years from now. I don't think it means that ideas that people have should, you know, I think it would be exciting if this committee wanted to propose a four years out panel and then a three years out panel oh, and then a two years out panel. I think that would be anticipation. I think that that would be exciting and then it could be whatever. It doesn't mean we have to do what we did today. No, I was just trying to. Um, and the word would get out to the associates.
association that these are really you know, high class pro programs that you will want to go to. When the fourth one is done, they'll get to the third one, the second one, and you know. Oh, I have we'll start building an audience. Yesterday, who came to Patrick Johnson's performance? People will hear about it. She's from Orcom, and she said to me, she said, "Yes, brother, I have to tell you, the past couple of years, I've realized that I should be going to the performance panels. So the best panels at NCA." And she said, "I'm only mad that it took me 20 years to figure that out." <laughs> I was like, "Yeah." Um, but it was, you know, I, so I think that's, that if a committee, we can make that decision right now that we want to propose a four year job panel. So, so, um, also, so moved? Excellent. Yeah, yeah, and also just to add on to that, I think it's not even just the one. No. But some of these ideas that we right, yes. have to test them out. Exactly. It's almost like pre, you know, it's almost like build it now, see how it goes, and then, and then polish it, kind of move it towards, you know, towards yeah, the yeah. which is a national one here. Excellent. Yeah, I think the first thing we should do is figure out who's going to chair it just because things happen, people go on leave. Um, you know, I think we should figure out. If, I mean, I know I, I'm, it's kind of hierarchical, and I'm really not going to get into that. However, being planner this year, I realized that having, it doesn't even have to be called chair, we are comfortable with that, but having like the key person would be good. I'm, I'm not volunteering. <laughs> um, I know! Yeah, no, I mean, so, you know, but, but I would just to, I don't know, just to kind of ease us through this, um, I, I, I nominate Heather. Just I would vote for you. Well, they can. I've been told that about the forms or something. I've never gotten it. So we're not. 
Oh, you mean your university email address doesn't work? Yeah. So, so I'll give you my address. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Yes. You, you can give it to me, but I can also get them if you have other places to go. that would be accessible through NCA because I can go on and you find your email. Oh. But if you have an email that is not university related that you would rather have a staff or a young group or you just want to make sure we're out of time, but please see Matt so that we can find you. Thank 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 you.